it'd be yeah, nice but- if it would be nice if they took Ron are uh, are there mm-hmm. and uh, maybe took him out of uh, uh, doing doing the step that, and fetch it routine that was in yeah, the- man it's fucking it's it's I'm so over the fact that they make Ron just it, it, he's an it, it, like it, I feel like I'm watching it's almost like that segment should be on the radio you know he's like come on man is it is it more of the does it bother you because it's again a, a black a, guy in wrestling being yes. the haha? And if I'm a young a young black male, and I'm watching that show, who do I have to like? Who's who? Am I, who's got a, who's got a belt? Who's the serious I, wrestler? Then I look at it and I say, you know what, man, I want to do that. Right. I don't want to do that. I don't want to act a fool. That's what I mean. That's the term on the street. Dude, mm-hmm. you're acting a fool. Don't act a fool. Mm-hmm. This is and he's this is something that's man. somewhat ep- epidemic in the sport, though. Historically. Yes. Not not all the time. I mean, I, mean, I was that, in but... the business when Ron Simmons became the first was, black champion. I was going to say Ron Simmons is definitely an exception to the. They got a little funny with the APA stuff, but but before that, when he was in WCW, Ron was Ron was the first black champion, yeah. and that was under Watts. And I remember one. I mean, I, I, and I've talked a ton of shit about Bill Watts in my life, but one thing I I, I, I did respect about Watts is that when Ron was the champ. The rule was nobody left the building till after the heavyweight championship match was over. That's right. That was a Watts thing. That was a Watts thing. And that that made that because, you know, if if if, if Ron means something and Ron's your champion, then a bunch of fucking no name fucking jabronis <laughs> should be fucking trying to get in the car and fight. Ron was a Ron was a great champion. Mm-hmm. Ron was a great fucker. Like, yeah. You know, I mean, he's you look at me when I first started, like, when I came back from playing ball over in Europe, and it was him and Butch were doomed. Mm-hmm. And Nancy was their manager. Yeah. And, man, that was fun. That was two grown-ass fucking men. Right. You know. But you see, when Ron got put with, with what's-his-name in APA, it, it got a little goofy. Tony Atlas, goofy. who free- Ron just would, would do the damn thing and... I mean, they got sticky, but you didn't look at Ron and say anything. He was Ron Simmons, one of the runners up to the Heisman Trophy of Florida State. Like mm-hmm. Ron, Ron's fucking, Ron's all fucking man. Mm-hmm. No, no, ain't nobody fucking ever. It, it, no, I've never seen a human being on this planet test Ron Simmons. Mm-hmm. Never. Where's that character at? Show me that character. Show now, me that Booker. Ca- Booker was great, but see, they never let... I mean, Booker got a little crazy with the, with the King Booker stuff for a minute, but Book always represented. Book always... You, you knew that... We gave him a hard time because, you know, Book liked to fish and golf, and uh, Stevie liked drag racing. We'd be like, man, we're... Stevie's, They're white! Stevie, huh? They're white. No, they're not. Fish in a drag they're race. Black, black dudes, they, 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 never, they didn't come across like that. No, no, not on TV. No. <clears throat> Book was a a drum major. Really? Yeah. No, yeah. he was awesome. If you, you know anything about a, a, a black drum major at, a, at any of those major black universities, that's an athlete. That's that's no bullshit. 